Is your computer getting old and slow? Don't get a new one, get a new hard drive. I paid $65 for this. Now, don't order from Dell. They're surprisingly ignorant. They sold me the wrong part three times. Instead, I ultimately went to Fry's and bought this one for... And people recommend Western Digital or Seagate. And this is a Seagate. 7200 RPM. And that's what... Uh, this is a SATA. S-A-T-A. -A, that's what that looks like. And I'm going to show you how to install it. It's unfortunate there's a blackout right now. This is all the light I really have. Here's the hard drives. It takes a Phillips screwdriver. Slide that back in, then the connection, this is, goes in, so they're both connected now. And if all goes well, I might even upload this video from this computer. That's it for now. It is a little like creationism, step by step. About an hour to install Windows XP plus two days of downloading and installing programs and updates through my slow, slow dial-up while I just go to work and try to forget about it. My only reason for video blogging this event is just to get the message out there. If your computer is getting old, slow, and unreliable, don't buy a whole new one like I was originally thinking about. Just replace the hard drive for about 10% of the cost, $65. Western Digital and Seagate are recommended brands, and I just bought mine at Fry's right away. Uh, 7200 RPM, standard, and 4.65 gigabytes. You have to know what kind of connector you have, usually SATA, S-A-T-A, like the first one I showed you. If your hard drive is old enough to look like this one that Dell sent me by mistake, that's PATA, P-A-T-A. And they sell those too. And that's it. So, I'm Mr. Vanilla Caramel, and I just showed you how to make your computer good as new on the cheap.